Hey guys, you know, I've been struck by this realization. Why do we stand in front of this blue wall? I mean, what's the point of it? Five days a week, we stand in the same spot, delivering the tech news, and every time, it's in front of the same blue wall. I mean, how did it even get here? How did, how did I get here? How did you get there? It just doesn't make any sense. Right now, Ashes of the Singularity is the only game that supports DirectX 12's explicit multi-adapter feature, or EMA, which lets you combine mismatched graphics cards to boost performance. But we might see that change soon, as Microsoft has confirmed it's adding an abstraction layer to DX12 that will make it much easier for developers to add basic EMA functionality. If they want full multi-GPU support, they'll still have to implement the more complex code, but perhaps this will open the door to more games embracing multi-GPU setups. Because as we saw in Riley's RX 480 Crossfire video, more and more games are leaving two card setups behind, and that's not right. Hashtag, bring back multi-GPU setups. Never mind, that's, that's a bit wordy. Apparently the display ports on GTX 1080s and 1070s do not work with the HTC Vive VR headset. Users on Reddit who have another display hooked up to their card's HDMI port discovered the issue around a month ago. Nvidia has said they're looking into it, but as yet no fix has been forthcoming. Now this isn't really a huge deal. The HTC Vive has both HDMI and DisplayPort, and if you absolutely have to use the DisplayPort, you can use a DisplayPort to HDMI adapter. But it is definitely strange that an error like this slipped through Nvidia's testing process for the 10 series. DisplayPorts on the GeForce 900 series cards work fine. It's just the emotional hurt that's the real issue. Like. Why, NVIDIA? Speaking of GPU fixes, AMD has announced they've developed a driver fix for the Radeon RX 480's power issues, and will release it sometime tomorrow, July 7th. The driver will solve the problem of too much power going through the PCIe slot in two ways. One, it will transfer some of the power load to the 6-pin connector. If the TDP remains the same, this could still be over spec, but within a reasonable range. And two, an option to enter compatibility mode, which reduces the card's total power consumption. Option 2 will result in a slight hit to performance, but AMD also says they've managed to pump in an extra 3% performance boost, which will offset this. We'll have to run the card through some benchmarks again after the driver hits to see the real impact, but regardless, I think what we've learned today is that you shouldn't judge a GPU by its cooler. It's time for... Sure news stories said more quickly than the others. Uh, I don't think, I'm not sure if you got the quickly part of that, but hey, you do you, bud. Thanks for the submission. Send us a clip of yourself saying that phrase to get featured. Android police have created a render of Google's upcoming Nexus phones based on information they've collected from inside sources. Curiously, there's no Nexus branding, only Google's G logo. Could the whole Google phone thing just mean Nexus is getting a rebrand? More at 11. Pokemon Go is now rolling out for Android and iOS users in Japan, Australia, and New Zealand, but Android users can actually sideload the app wherever they are, because Android is cool like that. If you have a OnePlus 3, you might want to set your phone to manually check for updates, as users discovered the device uses an unencrypted connection to do so automatically. What is this, OnePlus? Bush League? The ThinkPone BIOS vulnerability. Lenovo machines. The flaw also exists on HP laptops and Gigabyte motherboards, so make sure you're up to date with BIOS updates as they'll be looking to release patches. And NASA's RoboGlove will be licensed by BioServo Technologies to create a soft grip enhancing gauntlet for factory workers, but there's no guarantee it won't also be used for punching. We have no way of knowing. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Try this Greek tongue twister. Mia papia ma pia papia me papia me papia. It's about a duck and its ducklings. Enjoy. I already have.
Here at NCIX, we're all about giving things away. We do it all the time. Products, love, our social security numbers. We're just really nice people. An example of this is the current subscribe and win prize for this month. All you gotta do is subscribe to the NCIX newsletter and you're entered to win an ASUS RTAC3100 dual band router. And if you're already subscribed, just claim your newsletter points for this month. Click here or the link in the description for all the details and you could get stuff given away to you. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on the social medias over here. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I must go and retreat back into the blue void from whence I arose. Farewell, fair viewers. Hold fast. Until next time we meet.